Hey guys, how are we doing today? So, what we are going to be discussing today is why are people unfulfilled? Unfulfillment. Where does it come from? And how to fulfill yourself? So, a key ingredient of unfulfillment is desire. So what is desire? Desire is something that you want, something you want to create. And something, you know, it could be something like, oh, I want to go to such and such university, I want to land such and such job, I want such and such uh, partner, whatever it is. So, that is a desire. How does it affect us? Well, unfulfillment. Usually, people are trying to find their fulfillment in the outcome of desires. You know, they have a bunch of desires and they're like, you know, when all of these are met, that is when I'll be fulfilled. That is when I'll be living my happy lifestyle. <laughs> when I am chilling, you know, drinking a margarita, you know, lying by the pool, in my big bungalow, whatever it is, right? So you think that, okay, I have a certain list. When I achieve all of them, I will be fulfilled. But there is a big, big, big but about this. Which is that oftentimes, and in fact, I would say most times, if not all, this does not happen. What is midlife crisis? You know, growing up, we have, uh, we've been told, you know, do this, do this, do this. And you think that, you know what, I'll be happy when I go to my perfect university, when I go to my, when I get my perfect first job, when I get married, when I have kids. So, all of these, right? Number one, what do they have in common? All of these put your happiness or your fulfillment into the future. So, what happens? So, you know, before, for example, before your, let's say an exam period, right? As a kid, you know, you used to study a lot. You're like, all right, school exam, school exam, school exam. And you're thinking, you know, for one month, I'll be happy when I finish my school exams. You finish your school exams, all right? And for a few hours, you're elated. You're like, all right, okay, let's go, let's go. All right, I'm done. I can go run around. I can go party. I can do whatever. But then you go like, it just comes down and you're like, all right, what next? And so now you want to create some other sort of, you know, you want to again put your happiness into the, full, into the future. This is what desire is. So, when, um, so, okay, for me, the way I started upon this journey myself, right, was that I had a lot of things which I thought will give me that fulfillment, and I did not. I saw people around me who thought that the life I was living and what I had. If they had it, they will be fulfilled. But we both had the same problems. And that made me question things, right? And I was sort of, I was sort of lucky and fortunate that it happened to me so young. But let's say for someone who hasn't had, you know, uh, who hasn't been fortunate enough to have a lot of uh, money in the beginning, right? Now, they will be, you know, feeling these emotions just like me. And they will be thinking, however, that perhaps in the future, when I make a certain amount of money, when I am you know, living the lifestyles like I see other people's living, then I will be happy and fulfilled because they look happy and fulfilled. How? Like you look at their Instagram perhaps, and you think, oh, you know what, That's, they're, they're living the life. Maybe, you know, I will start doing that if I start achieving this. So in the beginning, it's fine, you know, they, they grind on, they, you know, they keep on trying, they keep on trying. And once they achieve a certain level of comforts, right, let's say in middle age, when you have achieved a certain amount of that criteria, perhaps you thought, you know, in the beginning, I'll be happy when I'm making $100,000. You make that, I'll be happy when I make $200,000. Perhaps you make that. Next, $300,000. It keeps rising, $1 million and it's always putting your happiness into the future. And it's just a never ending game because you want to not take responsibility of it right now, right? If you put your 
fulfillment into the future, it will never be fulfilled. So, how do we go beyond this? Well, desires in itself are not wrong. I mean, of course, you know, if you want to go beyond desires, there are two things you can do. Buddha's method, just completely give up on desires and just be like, all right, you know what, like, I don't have any desires, I'm just gonna sit. Or number two, which is Krishna's method, Osho's method, Sadhguru's method, many other people. And it's about more involvement with life. Not to run away from life, to get more involved in life. Not to go and sit in some mountain for the rest of your life. In fact, all the traditional religious, um, and not even religious, but just generally wise, enlightened people have said, sure, you might need some time to go alone, to perhaps find your balance, but you have to always come back. Because, and you want to contribute to this world, right? And how do you contribute? By desiring. Desires are a game which you need to be able to play, but having that awareness beyond it. How do you have this awareness beyond it? By coming back to this very present moment. This is what meditation is about. This is what mindfulness is about. This is what um, people have been trying to cultivate for a long time. And what is it that stops us from being in the moment? The the mind just running like a monkey, like a monkey mind, just going crazy, like you know, just going talking about this, 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 like the like the boulder, right, which we talked about in the last few videos. Um, the boulder has so much energy because every single time you think you push the boulder, so after a time it has a bunch of momentum. So now if you want to come back to the moment, the boulder has a bunch of energy and it's trying to pull you back into your mind. And also there are loads of things like, you know, emotions and stuff associated with it, which over time get cleansed. However, another way of looking at it this way, right, is that let's say a football game, right? Like Sadhguru says in one of his uh, videos, and I love the example. If, for example, uh, you know, you are a footballer playing in the, on the field, right? And you have like 11 people on both sides just running after the ball. If you look at it, you know, philosophically without any desire, then you just go like, this is so stupid. People are just running around the ball and just trying to kick it inside the net. <laughs> but when you bring that desire and intensity to, get to the game, right? You go like, you know what? I want to put this ball into the net. The game has suddenly come to life. Now there is so much more joy around, there's so much more energy around the game. Like the World Cup, there was so much electricity in the stadium. And, all right, so let's look at it you know, one step further. So now let's say we have this desire, right? We want to put this ball into the net. Now tell me, let's say someone who puts their fulfillment of the whole process, right? Based on scoring the goal. They will have their happiness, their, um, you know, they're always thinking about that goal now. So in this very moment, they have the ball. Something is distracting them. In the back of the mind, they're constantly thinking goal, 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 goal. <laughs> the mind is constantly just going off. So they're not able to be in this moment, look around, or maybe there's a pass there, but they like just, their mind is pulling them away. They're not in the moment. So it kind of takes away from their game. However, a footballer, right? who's here in this moment and goes like, sure, I have a desire. I want to put this ball to the goal, but football is not just about that. Football is about the process. It's about being in the moment and enjoying the process, the passion for the actual game. And in so, in doing so, they stay in the moment and while they have this desire, they, they're fine. Like, you know, I score the goal, awesome. You know, I'll, uh, uh, you know it'll be cool. Like, it'll be like a... Uh, It'll be a pleasure, right? But it's not, the fulfillment is not there. So now, you know, I'm more in the moment. I'm like a lot more aware. I'm like looking around. I'm like, all right, okay. What, I, what do I need to do? So this brings me to the second point that I want to make. How to choose the right desires? How do you choose the right desires? So, you know, growing up, we've been like taught what, what we should be desiring. 
and you know we've been you know, trying to really do it so we try to keep staying motivated for it you know let's stay motivated i want to do this i want to do this i want to do this and when you do that sure you know you can push yourself you can keep pushing yourself push 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 i want to do this willpower willpower watch motivation videos it's like someone trying to uh, uh lose weight or something right and like, if it's not coming like intuitively if they're trying to do this perhaps to you know uh, i guess uh for other people if they're doing it for other people it's not the right reason if they're trying to find fulfillment in that you know th if then that is a desire but that is not coming out of a real passion a real intuitive desire so in this case now they need to watch motivation videos every single day it's harder for them to diet blah blah etc so to find this real passion it's hard because in today's time we are again the more the, the bolder of the mind right like it's it's got so much momentum because we've been thinking so much that it's hard to go beyond it and like sit outside and be like all right what do i really want to do and that's what meditation is for that's what yoga is for that's what tai chi is for it's all about going beyond the mind when you are beyond the mind desires are off the mind mind is not bad mind is awesome mind is a tool but is a tool worth it if it consumes you thank you guys for watching this video and please like subscribe um not for me but to spread the message spread it to other people who you think it can help and that's what it's all about it's about sharing and growing together as a whole see you guys next time